All right, let's get started with example four, uh, which says when the um, leading coefficient is negative. So when the leading coefficient is negative. Do you remember that term, leading coefficient? What that means, right, is if we have something like a problem like this. Remember, the um, one that has the highest degree, which is x squared, right, that has a degree of 2, this has a degree of 1, the constant, this is the constant, has a degree of 0. The leading coefficient is the number in front of the variable that has the highest degree. So this is right here, the leading coefficient, which is negative 3. And so what this is stating is that when that leading coefficient, that number, is negative, when the leading coefficient is negative, factor out negative 1 from each term before using other factoring methods. So we uh, factor out a negative 1 from each term. Okay? So whenever you see that negative there, you're going to immediately factor out the negative. Okay? Uh, so let's look at a couple problems. So example 4 here. Okay, so everything looks pretty, pretty much the same, except what do we see? We see that negative in front of the two in the leading coefficient, right? So the first thing we're going to do is factor out that negative. So it's going to be negative, and then which is going to make this a positive 2x squared, and then this is negative. We're factoring out that negative, so it's going to make this positive 5x and this is negative, and so we're going to factor out that negative, and it's going to make this a positive 3. Okay? So, um, this, and we're going to keep this the whole time while we're factoring. We're going to keep this negative on the outside. It doesn't go away. It stays there the whole time. All right? So, we're going to keep this. Um, then we just go to factoring, right? So, this is going to be our first term. This is our... Um, Last term, this is going to be the combination of the outside and the inside. But now what this is, since we factored out that negative, this says we're going to be adding the outside and the inside to get 5. So think about that. We're going to be adding two terms together to get 5. So that means that none of these terms can be over 5. They have to be, actually the outside and the inside have to be fairly small numbers because you can only add small numbers to get five, like, you know, a one and four, that's five, or two and three, really. That, those are the only options that you have two things you can add, right? Because uh, together to get five. So with that, um, we are going to, this is the first term, right? Why can't I spell first? Which is our x squared, and it's two, and it's nice. There's only one combination, right? So I can do my, I gotta rewrite that negative. I can do my little voot voots. And I can just put 2x here and x here. Okay? Then I'm gonna go to my last term, right? And which is three, which is awesome because there's only one combination there, right? There's, it's only one and three. So really, I can only put a one here and a three here or a three here and a one there, right? You, those are the only options you have. Like I know that this is the outside, right? So. We got 2x here, that's going to be my outside, and it's going to go here. So I'm going to have to multiply a number 2 by a number, right, by either 1 or 3. 2, and, and right, so it, I'm either going to go 2 times 1 or 2 times 3. Those are my only options. But I know that I can't go 2 times 3, because 2 times 3 would give me 6. And then I'm going to have to add that to another number to get 5. And once I have 6, 6 is bigger than 5, I can't. You know, that's not going to work. So I know that it has to be 1, right? And then um, this is going to be my inside. So if my 1's here, that means my 3 has to go here, right? So 1 times 3, that's how I get my 3. And then what do I see here? Um, it's positive. So what do we know? How do you get a positive number? You only get a positive number by going a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. And then we look here. Oh, this is positive. And I'm going to have to add, right? So that means that they are both going to have to be positive. Right? So I have my answer here. 2x plus 3x plus 1. 
okay? And um, I have to remember, I gotta carry that negative down the whole time on the outside. So this is going to be my final answer here, but let's go ahead and check it and see if I'm right. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this negative on the outside as I'm checking. I'm gonna do my first 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times one is positive 2x. Um, this, is, this is my first, this is my outside. My inside's three times x is positive three x. And then my last is three times one, which is three. Okay, I'm gonna simplify that. I keep writing that negative on the outside. I get two x squared, two x plus three x is five x, and then plus three. And then I have to distribute this negative to all three terms. Negative times two x is a negative two x squared. A negative times a positive 5x is a negative 5x, and a negative times 3 is negative 3. So I'm going to look and see if this is the same thing that I started with, and yes, negative 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Okay, so that means I did it correctly. Woohoo! All right, let's go ahead and try this one. Ooh, do you guys see that negative on that leading coefficient? So the first thing we're going to have to do is factor out that negative. So let's do it. So, I'm going to put my negative there. Um, when I factor out that negative, that means this is going to become positive. I'm factoring out that negative, which means this is going to be positive. Factoring out that negative, which means this is going to be positive. Okay. All right. Perfect. So, this is my first. This is my last. And I'm going to be adding the outside and the inside to get 17. Ooh, 17. 17. All right, so I'm adding to get 17. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm looking at the factors of 6, and I'm looking at the factors of 12. Okay, um, so what are the factors of 6? 1 times 6, 2 times 3. What are the factors of 12? 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Wow, so there's a lot going on here. Okay, so this is what I know. Um, I know that I'm going to have to, so when I'm looking at this and I'm trying to figure out, okay, do I wanna go here or here, right? There's nothing I can really write in. I mean, if I wanted to write in anything, I mean, the one thing I could write in is just put that X and put that X there and know that I'm gonna have to, you know, put a number in front of both of those. Um, but other than that, there's nothing like straightforward, like here, there's only one option. There's only one option. Okay. That's kind of a lot. It's a lot easier, right? There's a lot more stuff going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about one times six. Now I know that I'm gonna have to multiply this six by another number, right? Now I know that I'm going to be adding two numbers to get 17. That means if I'm adding two numbers to get 17, that means both of my numbers have to be less than six 17, right? So what that means is when I have six and I multiply six by a number, that number can't be bigger than 17 because then I'm going to have to add it to another number and it's already too big. So like if you see this, like six times 12, that's going to be, uh, what is that going to be? Maybe 72, right? So 72 and then I add another number to it, it's never going to work, right? So I mean, um, anything you do here, I mean, the, the easiest would be maybe 6 times 1, right, which would give me 6, and then 1 times 12, which is going to give me um, 6 plus 12, which is 18, right? But that's that's not 17, so that's not going to work. But anything other than that, like 6 times, um, 6 times 6 is 36, okay, that's too big. 6 times 2, that's going to be 12, okay, still less. So if I go 12, 6 times 2 with the 12, and then 1 times 6 is going to be 6, so 12 plus the 6 is... Um, 18, right? So that's too big. And then and then these, like these are just no way because like six times three is 18 bigger than 17. Six times four is bigger. So th none of those are gonna work. So one and six is basically just kind of like out. So I know I'm gonna be going with this two and three. And still, so this is gonna be my first term. Um, and this is gonna be my x squared. This is gonna be my x and my x. But you still have to think about it, like, right, as I'm doing this, I don't, I have three, right? I'm going to have to multiply three by a number. Like, I'm not going to want to multiply it by 12. That's going to be over, right? Or two times 12, because that's going to be over. So without, I don't, I, that's just, one and 12 is just not going to work. Um, two and six. So if I go three times six, that's 18. So that's bigger. So I could go, like, three times two. So 
I mean, this is the only option would be to go three times two and two times six, right? Three times two is six. Two um, times 12, I mean, two times six is 12, which is 18, and that's not 17, right? So, and then it doesn't work to go across, right? Because three times six is 18, and that's already bigger than 17. So that means that, you know, this option, that option isn't going to work. So now I'm here to this one. So three and four. Um, so, you know, I can try to go across. Two times six is going to, I mean, two times three is going to give me six. Three times four is going to give me 12, right? Six plus 12 is 18, so that's not going to give me 17. So I could try to go the other way, right? Uh-oh, sorry about that. So this one's out, so I went across, so maybe I'll try to go diagonal here and here. And I get 2x times 4, which is going to give me 8x, right? And then 3x times 3 is going to give me 9x. And then, boom, I got my 17x. Perfect. Okay. So I know that this is my first term, so I can just write in 2x and 3x. It doesn't matter if you put 2x here or 3x here or 3x here or 2x there. You just, you know, put one down. So I'll put this 2 and this 3. Okay. But what does matter is now I've established that this 2 is my outside. And I've established that this 3 is my inside. Right? So that means that my outside combination is here, right? The 2x and the 4. So the 2x is here and it's going to go the outside. So that means my 4 goes there. And then my inside, this is my 3x, right? And it's going to go with this 3. And here's my 3x and it's going to go here. So that means my three is gonna go there. And then I have to think about, well, how do I get a positive number? Well, it's either two positives or two negatives, right? And, but I have to add those together to get 17. And so the only way you're gonna get a positive number is if in both are positive or both are negative is if they're both positive. So we know our signs are both gonna be positive. So here's the answer. And then we just wanna check it. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite that negative here, and um, I'm going to go, um, 2x times 3x is 6x squared, 2x times 4 is 8x, right, so this is my outside, no, this is my first, this is my outside, my inside 3 times 3 is going to be a positive 9x, 3 times 4 is going to be a positive 12 Okay, this is my inside, this is my last um, combination there. Rewrite the negative. A, 8x plus 9x is 17x, right? And then we just need to distribute that negative three times. So negative times positive is negative 6x squared. Negative times a positive is negative 17x. Uh, negative times a positive, or negative times a positive is negative 12. So then we just check it all the way up here, and we got negative 6x minus 17x minus 12. So boom, there we have it. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and try this next problem, and I want you to try it on your own. Okay, so check it out, example 4b. Um, where's my friend? Here's my friend, the pause dragon. I remind you to pause your device, go ahead and work this problem out. When you get done, press play, and we'll talk about it together. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, let's see how you did. So um, I see that there's that negative, right, in front of the leading coefficient. So I'm going to have to factor that out immediately. So it's going to be negative, and then that's going to make that positive. It's going to make that positive, and it's going to make that positive, right? This is my first. This is my last. And I'm going to be adding my outside and my inside to get 17. Huh, very familiar. Okay, so what are we doing? This is my first term here is going to be 3, and the options for 3 are 1 times 3. So that's nice, right? There's only one option. So I'm going to just go ahead and do my voot voots and put 3x here and x there. If you did it the other way, that's fine. Um, and then we go last. And we have 10, right? 
So 10, we got 1 times 10, 2 times 5, and that's it. So it's going to be the combination, right, to get 17. Okay. Um, so shoo, shoo, shoo. we know that we're going to go 1 and 3, right? And then we are going to have this 1 and 10, but I'm not going to go 3 times 10. That's going to be 30. It's going to be too big. And then if I go 3 times 1, which is 3, and then go 1 times 10, that's only 13. So I'm going to go with 2 and 5. Okay, so this is my, this is my first. This is my x squared, which is, makes that my x and x, and this is my last, right? Um, and I want 17, so I think I'm just going to have to go 3 times 5 and 1 times 2, right? That's going to give me 15x. 1 times 2 is going to give me 2x, and then I got 17x, okay? Um, and then what do I know? I know that my 3, this is going to be my outside, and this 1x is going to be my inside. So we go inside here. Right, and so that's where my one is gonna go with the two, so two is gonna go here. And then my outside here, the three X is gonna go with the five here. And then I look here and this needs to be positive. My last term needs to be positive. That means I'm either gonna have two positive numbers or two negative numbers, and this is positive. So that means that both of these are gonna be positive, right? So here's my final answer. And if you got that right, yo granky mashta, you did a wonderful job, but we still have to check it, right? So let's go ahead and check it to make sure it's right. I'm going to write that negative on the outside. 3x times x is going to give me my 3x squared, which is going to be my first term. 3x times 5 is going to be 15x, which is my outside. 2 times x is a positive 2x, which is going to give me my inside. And then 2 times 5 is 10, which is going to give me that last term. I have to simplify these. I'm going to rewrite that negative. 15x plus 2x is 17x, and then I have my 10. And then lastly, I need to distribute that negative through, so that's going to give me a negative 3x. Negative times a positive is a negative 17x. Negative times a positive is a negative 10x. So I'm going to check this against my original problem. And what do I have? I have negative 3x minus 17x minus 10. So if you did all of that right, great job. If not, go ahead and check... Um, Go back over your work and make sure that your work looks like mine. All right, that is it for this lesson. I'll see you in a little bit for Chapter 7, Lesson 5.